So here we're going to perform a lobar uh, barbell squat. So with a lobar barbell squat, what we want to think about is your bar position. So unlike the high bar, a traditional kind of barbell squat, where your bar position will sit in this upper part of your back, so this big fleshy meaty bit of your back, we want to set that a couple of inches lower for that lobar. The reason being is we're going to, at the bottom of your lobar squat, is there's more hip flexion. So we've got our hips kick back. We're going to incorporate a lot more glute, hamstring, and lumbar in this movement. So if you just want to set up here. <coughs> yep. So it's back. So again, in this position here, it's going to sit on the rear of our delt, a couple of inches below the upper trap. With your feet position here, typically you want to take a wider stance, maybe just an inch to half an inch wider than what you would do with a kind of high bar squat. Okay, again, we want to rotate our feet out, so we'll think about a clock face again, toes pointed at 11 and 1. Reason being is again, when we perform that eccentric, we want our knees tracing over our feet. So again, what we want to do is kick our hips back, squat down, and through our heels, to depth again, we want our glutes below that knee line, so this is full depth here, and again, driving back up. So again, in that bottom position, we're a lot more let over, going to incorporate more hamstring, more glute, it's going to hit your lumbar a lot more as well. So again, at that bottom position, we're a lot more stable. Again, perform. Again, we want to pull, come back up. We to pull down on this bar, keeping our core nice and engaged, and our lats tight. Again, one more. And back. 